This is my room at my parents' house. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a mess right now because it just moved in. Um, yeah, I got this controller originally for the, you know, but I'm actually now using it on my iPad. Then I will use the DualSense one on my phone. And plus, two, uh, some of my friends in CFP, which is my college, one is, has the Xbox Series S and the one has the, the PS5. So, but you're probably wondering, yes, I do have an Xbox video fridge. Unfortunately, uh, the AC outlet doesn't work anymore because the power supply is really dead. But this one, the DC one for 12 volts works. I just need to get a converter from AC to DC. But for now, this fridge can still be used as a big storage device. Yes, yeah, my really here most there for storage. Yeah, just because I have a Blu-ray player. <laughs> Not for that. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't hold that much. And I have to take out a piece to fit the bottles in there. It's not great. Plus, I can't really fit this in here without the bottle following on the top. So I could put it here, but it's going to be too loose. So. And you probably know what this is. My drum controller. Very solid. I recommend getting the Hori drum. Uh, though it's expensive, it's still one of the most better, best qualities. Like, and you can mod it down the line. It's not mine's not modded. I don't think I'm ever gonna mod mine to be a lot more sensitive. Noise as well, I think now. Um, sticks have the Taiko no uh logo on it in Japanese because. This is Japan import, but um, I don't recommend getting the Opera one you see on uh, Amazon. If you're not going to plan to do any rolls, then it could be a good option. But if you do rolls a lot, get the Hori drum because you can mod it down the line and make it more sensitive. You can mod it down the line. Make it a lot more sensitive, yeah. And yeah, my computer's right here. My switch is there with the old dog. It does work with the old dog. Dropped, knocked the Joy-Con grip. And of course I got uh, my testers, the USB tester. I got two ones. Oh, whoa, that dropped. And even this new one I got, um, this one actually has an, a small S LC, but I can actually see milliamps and voltage on this. So got the battery die. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of triple A's. The modern Delaware batteries, that's short. And yes, I got my uh, VR headset here. Um, yeah, it's right now plugged into power. I use Airlink on this a lot more. Then using the link cable because I don't know how to worry about the cable. I guess I just spin around like if I was using it on the go. <sighs> so, uh, both the DualSense okay. controller and the Xbox controller has Type C, but on this one here, I'm using the original batteries it came with. And I plan on just using double rays for this one. I'm not going to plan on buying uh, a rechargeable battery because why would I want to buy a rechargeable battery when I have tons of double ray batteries? So, and this is the uh, Exos. Uh, this this this, this color is called Electric Volt. As it's called, it's more like a green, greenish color. I don't really like the how the defect clicks. Kind of feels cheap. But now then this one has a share button. The older ones don't. Got these, got the Xbox button. And it's gonna pair to my iPad. Got the left, right bumper and the analog triggers. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this both this one and this one has a 
audio jack on the bottom because you can use your headphones. Although, um, I don't use the headphone for that on these anyway, so <laughs> no point. So, and yeah, my switch is right here. Right now, doing uh, live call music. Um, and you can, I can switch over to here, which is, ah, right, jet, that's loud, but I can slide back in. If you're on the monitor, was the, when the, this monitor comes with the USB, you have, oh, switch that back to, all right. I got like a, few, a lot of controllers. I got like nine controllers. This one here is kind of falling apart right now. Cause I had to use some of the screws here to repair this pro controller here. And this one here, He's using uh, double batteries. And the batteries are dead. Great. I'm gonna have to replace them. That's just great, I gotta replace them. Well, I'll, I'll replace that later on. So I'll show you what's happening with the was that when I try to plug it into uh, AC power? Nope, nothing. And I already tested uh, the twelve one and the twelve one works, but the uh, AC one doesn't work. If I go ahead and plug in my tester, it's not even turning on. And this USB port here is supposed to work. But it's not. Plus, the fan is running at all. So. So, yeah, that's... That's no good that this... That the AC one's not going to work. So. And don't worry about the cable. I already tested the cable. I already tested the cable. I know the cable works. I already tested it, so... It's just the power supply in here, Dad. Um, I got this old box on eBay, so. But luckily, the 12 volt supply still works, and I believe I know why. It's just a direct power in, because I believe the AC power supply here is stepping down to 120 volts. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm in the US, but it might be different mains voltage from which region. But it, it steps it down and converts it to DC 20, 12 volts. So this fish can run. And here's the thing, see this slot here, the fake slot? It can also you can also grip it to open the door, so so yeah. That's gonna actually be a good storage good place to store things like I say that this is normally where you put your snacks. But I got to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this update <laughs> room tour and if you're wondering, I still got that boxing machine, which I don't play that much anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed.